This is my uh, first experience in a wheel craft. I mean, my friend Art. This looks like something out of a Batman movie. around zero but we had about six inches of snow last night and it's pretty heavy wet snow but I'm excited about uh, fishing the last couple of days of the walleye season here in eastern Lake Ontario because I'm going out on something called a wheel craft that's what you see in the background there this is a special machine that's been designed for ice fishing it's very safe because uh, it can go through water you can fish out of it you can fish around it you can have your heaters and everything inside I'm pretty excited to uh, fish out of it um, it looks like something out of uh, Star Wars or sci-fi. It's got big mags on the back, smaller wheels on the front. Um, it looks very comfortable. I'm going to be fishing with Art Graves, who uh, is just getting the machine ready. So uh, I can't wait to go out there and see what this thing is like. Art Graves here. I'm the proud owner of the Wheelcraft. Mine is a 2022 model. Uh, they're manufactured in St. Paul, Minnesota. A gentleman by the name of Tom Roaring started the company about 12 years ago. It started as a flat bottom boat with a lawnmower engine on the back and it has evolved to what you're about to see now. So this machine has 32 inch sand tires on the back which give you the grip in the snow and actually allows it to ride up on top of the snow. It will comfortably with four wheel drive go through 14 to 8 inch, 18 inches of snow. I also had a set of skis for the front that I can go through two feet of powder and not get stuck. Uh, it's a hydrostatic drive. There's dual pump here, one for front and rear wheel drive. Uh, each of the four tires is, comes equipped with an electric motor, which allows you to change the machine from two inches of ground clearance to 14 inches of ground clearance. So the cockpit here, you'll see the arm on the, my right is my steering, push forward to go left, pull back to go right. And the center one is my hydrostatic throttle, so just pull back for reverse, push forward. And you'll see when we get on the ice, when the cover folds up, they're all one piece length arms, so there's no uh, telescoping poles. They just fold in behind the seat. Uh, for fishing, you'll see inside, it, uh, it's a comfortable machine for two, you could do three. There are three buckets inside that are snapped in for safety. You pull your bucket out, you can auger your hole down there, and you can just fish through the inside. All of the side pontoons are filled with flotation. Uh, there's an inch and a half of flotation under the floor, uh, and under the gas can in the back, it's also foam. Uh, it will draw about three inches of water if you're out in the open water. So if you see the deck along the side, out in open water the water level will only be up to about the bottom of the W. I have had 500 I've had 500 pounds in it out in the summertime with myself and two other gentlemen and uh, no no issues no problems. We've had lots of little fish and if you see the screen, there's a lot of activity. So I've actually taken my other rod, which is a light action. You see I've got a bit of a bend. And uh, I'm uh, not targeting necessarily perch. So that's a nice perch. You can see it here. Um, he would qualify for me as a keeper if I was keeping perch. But I don't need to keep any. So we've had lots of marks, and there's lots of marks on screen, and I think they are mostly perch. We've got a couple of small walleyes, which is a good sign. And you think I can get the hook out of this guy? He got the whole treble. I've only taken the head off of my minnow from my other lure. I guess he's going to keep it. Here, let me give you a nice look at it here. Look at it. Art's not impressed, but that's okay. 
that's okay. Come on, swim down. You gonna go? There he goes to the bottom. Had him on for a split second. Better check. That's on the small spoon. Felt him. Felt like a wall. Oh, took my minnow. Felt like a walleye, but wasn't that big. Better mark. You can see the bend in my rod. Oh, head shake. Am I hemming it up hard enough? A little bit. Like on TV, Hollywood. It's a Hollywood fish, right? Come on. Oh, he's oh, perfect. He's into the transducer line. If I can grab the spoon. Come on. Got him in the boat. In the Worldcraft boat. Okay, wait a sec. It's not a boat. Well, it is a boat. Some people call it a boat. Yeah. There. Nice little walleye. Ah, he's an eater, but you know what? I'm going to let him go. Beautiful. I wonder how old he is. You think he's two years old? Yeah, just give you a little yeah. look at it. So we're we're coming up on spring of twenty three. He'd be a spring of twenty one. How many inches you figure? Scale right here if you want. He's not uh, gold color. He's probably because he's living in deep water, but that's okay. Okay, he's going to take off pretty quick. He is gone. That's a good sign. A good sign. Got to start somewhere. <laughs> 